morning, everyone. Welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. And we are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow. And um, this is take two because the first one made absolutely no sense whatsoever. <laughs> um, also, we were just discussing, this is how my glasses feel comfortable and it's just like totally crooked. <laughs> so I have a very crooked face. Hey, um, That's way more than you ever wanted to know mm -hmm. about me, isn't it? <laughs> I give up. It's Monday. It's Monday. You know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, we are here together in Montclair at my mom's house. Um, this is still going on, so we are still here. I spent the weekend on Long Beach Island. I got lots of dyeing done. Uh, we have a special color for Maryland that Helen is working with, so she can't show you, but she's been working with, working on, because it's top secret. And it's but so Oh, pretty. It's, it's gorgeous. I love this color so much. Anyway, I dyed up a whole bunch of it, and Helen is going to go down uh, tomorrow or the next day and dye a whole bunch more. Right. So it's, uh, we're, we're stocking, my mother has said to us. Are you, are you making your stock for Marilyn? <laughs> yes, we are. It's like, I just see us in a pot. Yep. Making our stock. Yep, there you go. Um... Oh, also, I dyed the Agatha Christie color for um, for April. I love this one. I this is a, this is perfect for April, though. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect spring color. Um, it's so pretty. It is. It's gorgeous. It's really cool. It's also yeah. one of my favorite Agatha Christie. It's a short story this time, um, but I know I said that a lot. Uh, this one is a good one. I like this one a lot. It's a good one. It's a really good one. And those will open up on Friday. Is that the 15th? Yes. yes. So the 15th, uh, for those of you who are already members of the club, you will get your invoices. Okay. Um, so everybody should get theirs on the 15th. And then if you would like to join us for the first time, you can purchase yours on the 15th as well. So. I should have brought up the, the last one we did. I didn't. We'll However, do that next time. Um, last month was The Body in the Library, which I got to because I was reading... Uh, Mystery at Mallowan Hall, which is a book where Agatha Christie's housekeeper is the main character and detective in it. And um, there is a body found in the library, which led to the, supposedly in this story, led to Agatha Christie writing this book. So we thought it was absolutely perfect timing. Yes. And yeah. It was a really pretty, pretty color. I liked it a lot. All right. So, um... Do we have any admin or anything to talk about or just the project? I think just the project. It's, um, yeah, not much is. It's same old, same old happening. It, it's, uh, one of us is here caretaking and making bags where we can. And the other is home dyeing yarn. Right. So we have very little time where we're both now in the same room. Um, and whoever goes home gets to take the dog, so whoever is the caretaker is without fur. It's a very it's unpleasant difficult. way to be. Yeah. Um, so. I've gotten rather used to having fur around. Yeah. It's, uh, I just finished being the one without, so <laughs> she says, like, she says, I'm here, and I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Give me my dogs. Get out of my way. Give me my dogs. Somebody went to the vet, the vet to get weighed because he had to get his next round of heartworm pills. He is seven and a half months old and he is 47.8 pounds. And I'd say he's a good two to three inches taller than Drew mm -hmm. when, At least. when they're standing. Um, he's getting very big. Yes, he's getting leggy. Yeah. He's getting leggy. He only gained like three pounds, four pounds over the last month. It right. wasn't it like wasn't... he gained a lot of weight. Right. But he's gained height. Yeah, I think he's going to be tall and lanky we are just we have spent the last 12 years with barrels with very short legs right so that uh, that's what we're used to because even my mom's dog was a welsh cardigan corgi so that we're not used to these long-legged dogs at yeah. all and um this one has has decided that he's a counter surfer so, so he, he is using his height to his advantage he is he's just going along and slurping up whatever he wants <laughs> until you catch him. and i have to tell you Drew and Spike are loud. We're loud. You know, Drew, you hear her coming. Yeah. This one, 
you don't even know he's in the room until you turn around and he's eating half the butter off the <laughs> butter plate. You know, it's just... You don't even hear him coming. So... He is and, a ninja. Until he lays down and then it's like all the bones go... Whoop, oh, down yeah, he, he, he just goes... <laughs> so, um, can you tell we, we really kind of like this dog just a little we're bit? growing a little bit fond of Hugo. So... He is my main man. My main man. Anyway, he's asleep right here. He's very cool. All right. So we have a project that we want to talk to you about today. Uh, we did a collaboration with Leanne Petropolis from uh, Yaya Black Sheep. And what she does... Which is a yarn store in North, North Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. And what she does is she puts together Game of Shawls. This is her second year doing it. Last year she did it um, and... We were really intrigued with it, and she said, oh, would you like to do a, a collaboration? And we said, we'd love to. We'll provide the yarn. You provide the game. So what, she, what you get when you get the game is you get a deck of cards. This year, she's doing it around Mark Twain quotes. And then a booklet that has all the instructions in it. And you start by doing a garter section, and then... When you get to the end of the section, what you do is you pick a card. You shuffle your cards and you pick a card. You start with, you pull a joker so that you can always use the joker to change the card if you don't like um, what you pick. But each card has a different set of directions to go with it. So if I pulled my cards and pulled the first card, I got a five of diamonds. So I would go to section five and it would tell me that I would be doing Life on the Mississippi, which is like waving lines type of thing. So is it just, uh, it doesn't matter, suit? The suit doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Um, when you pull a face card, you can change colors and then keep pulling until you get to um, a, a number card. Some of them call for two colors so that you need to do two colors. I started mine. Uh, overall, it's a three skein project, three colors, um, one variegated, two tonals, right? Uh, no, you can have, we have one that is three tonals. Oh, okay. So you want them to be, we have, we put together four different collections for her, which we should show first. Um, we put together four different collections, one for each of the seasons. And then you want them to be relatively different Contrast. Like high contrast, except we have one that is more blendy. And guess which one I chose to do. <laughs> Those of you that know, know that I like to do my blend. Um, but, all right, so spring is... So this is the spring. Do you want to turn it so that it's there so you can see all the colors? There you go. So that's spring. So you get a purple, a green variegated, and a pink. And these actually are all from our spring collection. This is raspberry macaron, blackberry macaron, and le printemps. So uh, meet me in Paris. What did I say? Spring. Okay, meet me in Paris. There you go. All right, so summer. Oh my God. Summer, I wanted to look like the watermelon. So you have a more lime green bobbles and Mr. Karras Oh my God. My favorite colors in a bag. Right there. Right there. Okay, so. For fall, we went fall colors and here you go, my favorite colors in a bag. <laughs> so we have Mountain Day, apple picking and box lunches from last year's fall collection. Trying to get it so it's not glare. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay. This is the one I'm doing. I'll show you in just a second. And then winter. And winter I love, which you wouldn't think I would. But it, very neutral, I like it. So you get illusion, glass of bubbly, and crab picking. That's kind of icy blues. Yeah. for winter for stormy winter days right all right so i started doing it in the fall collection i have not gotten terribly far but here we go so 
Somebody was obviously helping me. Hugo loves to knit. Look at the apple picking against the uh, black or the um, mountain Mount day. So does she say use a variegated? If you have a variegated for nope. the garter, you choose. You choose. Okay. So that's how far I've gotten. I'm on to my third section. Um, my first section was the garter, and then my second section I picked one that has uh, color work. It's all slip stitch, and then my third section you take one of those colors and continue it up. So the sections aren't very long. No. The, this section... Some sections are longer than others. This section was only 16 rows for the color work. This section was a little bit longer, but you're building up. And then this section is going to be 40 rows. Oh, okay. But yeah, some of them are, some of them aren't. Um, but what she did it was... It looks like generally there's 16. What she did was she um, did it that each of them is based around something to do with Mark Twain, like the, the Prince and the Pauper, Life on the Mississippi, Connecticut Yankee. They're all different things that are based on uh, Mark Twain. And then she got a deck of cards that is are all Mark Twain quotes so that when you're done, you also have a deck of cards that you can play with. Um, and... What you do is you start with one and then you just pick a card and no matter what you pick, you have to keep going in that, you know, that thing. You have a joker, you keep one of the jokers so you can always change and switch out um, as you go along if you find something that if you have one that you really don't like and you don't want to do it. Um, and when you get a face or card... you did it twice, you just did it. And yeah, you and you want to move in... Um, and then if you get a face card, you change colors and then pick until you get a number card and to, so that you know what to do for your next section. So if you never pick a face card, you never change colors? Uh, yeah. Okay. Except a lot of these are two colors. Right. And also there are, um, what, 12 face cards in there yeah. so that... Chances are, Chances good. are pretty good you're going to get a face card sooner or later. So we have these kits available online if you would like to join us. We're also going to have them at Maryland Sheep and Wool with us. But if you want to join us and do a game of shawls, it's really kind of fun because you're not doing a terrible amount, a terribly long amount in any one particular thing. So you switch it up and you're working with gorgeous colors. And it's going to be a sail shape shawl. Yes, it's a... Um, asymmetrical triangle shape shawl. So, and you can keep going as long as you want. Right. So that you can make it as short or as long as you want to make it. Okay. So much fun. I know. It's really, it's very, very cool. So, I'm going to have to do it once I've done my your project. My project. Right. And do it in one of the other colors, like, I don't know, maybe summer. Maybe. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> have it so that we can have it for samples throughout the year. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we have a whole bunch of these kits. We bought a whole bunch of them from uh, Leanne so that we could have them to sell with the yarn and have I, them ready to go. I love the idea that it's, um, you're all doing the same shawl, but it's, everybody's going to come up with a different. Right. Because you have different colors and uh, then just based on what you pick. Right. And also if you, even if you have the same colors, Yours is going to be a little bit different than everybody right. else's because nobody's going to pick the same cards all the way through. Right. So, yeah, no, it's it's a game of chance. Um, and and it keeps things interesting while you're knitting up a three-skein shawl. Right. So It's really, it's really it's, cool. I mean, Leanne, it's just a great idea. Yeah. So, and we're really happy to be collaborating with her. So, yeah, yeah, black sheep. All right. Okay. So, kids are up now. Um, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, come and join it. Do it with me because, you know, for the person who finished her uh, life in Paris that I still have in the bottom of my bag because um, I'm still working on mine, you probably will finish before me <laughs> and you can show me your beautiful shawls. Okay, so the kit comes with the deck of cards, the book for the pattern, and then the three skeins of yarn. Yep. exciting yeah and you can pick which one you want or you know do all four yeah. we don't care all we're new. not gonna judge yeah no <laughs> never judge never <laughs> judge 
Okay. Fun um, new things for coming up with Maryland. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, these are going to be a pre-order. We have a limited number that are already dyed and ready to go so that we will send those out right away. First come, first serve. Um, and then it will be, they will ship after Maryland. Right. So. Okay. Okay. So, um, quick wrap up of March reading. Yeah. We actually both picked the same book as our favorite book for March. I, I read more books than I thought. I read seven books in March, which was... I think I did too. I mean, five of them were audio, um, since... A lot of driving. That is the, uh, the medium of choice right now. A lot um, of driving, a lot of sewing. A lot of walking dogs. Mm, right. Uh, walking dogs. Oh, I just took a walk this morning. 45 minute walk with them. It was wonderful and I had my earbuds in. Yeah. So it's really, as spring comes along, I mean, Montclair, one day we will do a, oh yeah, once Montclair gets all its pretty colors on, we're going to do, we'll do a video of uh, Montclair in spring because there is nothing like it. It is gorgeous. So, um, anyway. Anyway, so I read seven books. Over 2,000 pages. Good on you. Yeah. I don't know that I did. I have my, my reading journal. I just finished doing my March recap this morning. That's why all the numbers are really, really in my head. Um, I only did 1680 pages. No, sorry, that's a two, 2680. That, that makes more sense, yeah. I did like 2200. Okay. So. Yes. I, um, anyway, back to our favorite book of right. mine. So the, uh, the book that was our favorite was uh, a book that was recommended to us uh, from a podcast that we listened to called The Currently Reading Podcast, a member of their Patreon group where they do every month in the Patreon group, they do what they call the Indie Press List. And it's, uh, they talk to in the independent bookstores, they talk to each month, they talk to an independent bookstore and get recommendations from that bookstore. And we try and buy what we can from that independent bookstore online just to support all the bookstores that they're trying to because we think it's such a great idea yeah anyway so the book is how high we go in the dark by sequoia nagamatsu um the way they explained it was that it was just a very different book from what either of them would ever read right disturbing um it's about a pandemic so a little close to home right um i did not find it disturbing in like horror um jump scare type no, of thing just it was, it was disturbing yeah <laughs> it's a very different book i mean very very different from anything that i normally read right um there were several moments where i was like huh? <laughs> <laughs> and it is told from several different perspectives in different time periods and not until the end do you kind of wrap up how all they all of tie the connections. together. Yeah. And part of the fun of it is you're reading one and it's like, oh, okay, he was back there. Yeah, there was um, one where it was like Dan the Lawyer. And I'm like, Dan the Lawyer, Dan the Lawyer. I know I ran into Dan the yeah. Lawyer before. And I had to go back and find out where he was. I read mine on the on the Kindle, which was so good because I could just search by the characters. And be right. Like, okay, where did they show up? Um, several of the chapters had me sobbing one of them actually had me just a little sick to my stomach disturbing sobbing kind of thing um so it's it's a hard recommendation because there are a lot of qualifications <laughs> yes there are definite trigger warnings um um but it's very interesting really really interesting and i know a lo uh, just having read up on other people's reviews of it and things like that. A lot of people had a problem with the end. I really kind of liked the way. Oh, I liked the end. The end worked out. Um, it worked very well for my mind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it made everything make sense to me. Right. Um, so, yeah. So if you're, if you're, we don't want to say to it, it, it's you kind of garbled because yeah. you can't say too much about it without giving away. Right. And it's, it's like reading the seven and a half deaths, deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. If you know the twist, then it ruins it for you. And if you don't right. know it when you start hearing it or reading it or whatever, 
it's just such a wow, I did not expect that. Except like Evelyn Hardcastle, the twist is very obvious. Right. This one is just, I mean, most of the book you're just kind of like, okay, this is really well written, but well written, but why? <laughs> why? Yeah. Um, but I'm really, really glad I, I read it. So am I. It is stuck with me. And will stick with me for a very long time. It'll be one of those that, you know, it won't be my highest rated of the year. It certainly won't be my favorite book of the year um, because I've already read one that's better than it. Um, but it will probably, I will remember it more than anything else. Yeah. It's, and it's... It's a different writing style. But it's so good. Yeah. I really, really enjoyed the writing style. And I enjoyed reading it. And not just because of the heh part of it, but the, the writing was nice. Right. The writing was just really a nice, smooth, well-written book. Yeah. So, um, yeah. It's, it's how... different. It's just really, really different. Yeah. And it's each chapter is a different viewpoint, different timeline, different, but all kind of around the same thing. Right. So that it's just, and it's good. Yeah. So for those of you that like the books that we recommend and that are always asking us, you know, hey, what's your next book? Um, this one's going to be different. I was going to say it's totally out of the comfort zone. It's not going to be like anything we've ever recommended before. But um, it's worth it. Yeah. It's so worth it. The people in this book. Oh, some of them are just. Oh. They, they just, they get under your skin. Yeah. And they will stay with you. So, yes, um, this is a good one. This yeah. is a good one. It's just a little bit hard to read some of it. And you're just going to be... <laughs> but take it to the end. Because yeah. when you get to the end, it, it kind of makes sense. And when you do, come talk about it because it, it's a book that needs to be talked about. We, uh, uh, they, when they recommended it, they, they recommended it as a buddy read um, so that you could read it alongside someone and just be like, oh, okay, well, I just finished this one. Why? Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's just... it's. It... This is going to be one of our more interesting book recommendations. <laughs> but it's worth it. It is. I promise. Okay. So, right. How High We Go in the Dark by Sequoia Nagamatsu. Yes. And he actually has um, a couple other books. That oh, does he really? Okay. I'm, I, I'm interested in, to, in looking into because... Um, this one really made an impact on me. Yeah. I'm very, very glad I read it. Yeah. And I would not have ever picked it up without their recommendation. Yes. This is definitely not one of the ones that gets me by the cover type of thing or anything like that. Um, I don't think it would ever even be in the same like section of a bookstore that I would go to. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. All right. So that is our recommendation this month, this week. Yeah. All right. All right, so um, I think we're good, right? I think, I think so. That is it. We yeah. are off to twist yarn, yeah. twist and label yarn. Um, so we hope you guys have a wonderful week. Go forth and create. And we will see you soon. I'm not even putting days on it anymore. Right. We will see you soon. Bye. Bye.